What's poppin' y'all? It's your boy Big Girl live in the building with Jason Dumas. What's up, bro? It was a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Hey man, we came all the way out here in Santa Cruz to watch the C Dubs play. What you love about this ball club? Oh man, it was a really good game. It's the first overtime game that I've seen this year. I do the home game, so it was the first home overtime game. The Elam ending is kind of like kind of throws you off, but I like the drama that it adds, and I like how they're trying it out in the G League. We've seen it in Summer League before too. Uh, so it was it was a fun game. I'm usually out of here by nine. It's going on 9:45, but hey, it was a fun game. I was glad I got to witness it. I know you get to cover the Warriors, and then now you're at the G League level. What advice you got to players who's looking to make that jump? Man, you just got to grind. What I've learned covering the G League this year is just how much talent there is in the G League. And sometimes it's not about talent. That's not why you're not up in the NBA. It's a matter of circumstance, opportunity, maybe too many guys at your spot on the main team for your G League team. So my advice is just to keep going, you know, don't get too caught up in why you're not at the NBA level. Just enjoy the process, continue to work, keep your head down, control what you can control, which is having a good attitude, being a good teammate, and, you know, it'll click and come around for those it's meant to be for. Okay, I see you in the view, Yuri Collins. He's a kid from my city, St. Louis. There's a lot of BG and YC connections on YouTube. What did you interview him about, and what do you like about the kid, Yuri Collins? Well, I told him the one thing about Yuri is – he has a really good demeanor on the court. He never gets too high. He never gets too low. And they blew a 24-point fourth-quarter lead. It was brutal. But if you looked at him, he never really lost his composure. He was stoic. He had his best game of the season, you know, 14 and 10 in his first start of the season as well. So he did what they needed him to do, and he was out there at the end of the game for a reason. He was a calming presence for the team that whole game and he was rewarded for it and I'm happy for the game he had. And it's big guard, you know, the only platform I say for undersized guards. You know, I pride myself on traveling the country and finding the undersized talent because I feel like those are the most impressive guys to watch. Right. Any advice you got for undersized guards that's looking to make the jump at this level? Man, it's tough for undersized guards as you know, but man, you just gotta wear it as a badge of honor, like as a chip on your shoulder. You know, we've seen a lot of small guards in the NBA achieve, you know, Kemba Walker, Jalen Brunson right now. So you keep that chip on your shoulder. Don't pay attention to the to the stats and the numbers. Just play your game. And, you know, if you can maximize your athleticism, that's a positive, too. But you got to be fundamentally sound. If you're undersized, you got to be fundamentally sound and just keep that dog in you because people are always going to try you if you're undersized and if they think they can try you and they take your heart it's a wrap for you so you just got to keep that chip on your shoulder that's the mentality you got to take on in life big girl alive in the building i don't follow too many media guys in the space i wouldn't call him a media guy i call him a media legend but jason dumas is a guy who i'm in tune with you should get in tune with and we was in the building can i get a one two three big guard one two three big guard ah